Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna talk about a new flight stick that I just received, the Raptor Mac 2 over here. And also I got the throttle, uh, the Raptor throttle that can come with it. Uh, for the price, I have like the price for the UK, so it's 119 pound for this one and 59 pound for this one. I think if you're uh, you have a combo, it's a little bit less money. Um, yeah, it's my first experience with uh, uh, a stick like this and also a throttle. Uh, I have some game like Flight Simulator, also Ace Combat 7. So I didn't know what to expect with this. So let's start first of all with the Raptor Mac 2. So first of all. Uh, for the uh, build quality, I want to talk about it for the price. I'm kind of impressed with it. It's sturdy, it's heavy, it can't really move also. As you can see, I'm forcing right now. So you're getting some a nice grip over here. You can also screw it on your um, your uh, your table if you want, if you have like a proper setup. You have a nice axis move like this. Sorry, my camera is shaking. And also you can turn a little bit like this. It's very comfortable. You have some kind of angle uh, when you you look at it. And I definitely play like three hours straight flight simulator and I didn't have any issue with it. I was really impressed by the amount of button that you have on this thing. So you're getting like button here. You have like a, some kind of like joystick here. You have your trigger as you can see. You have tw uh, 29 button over here, A1, A2, as you can see a lot of like different button. You have the eject, I will show you here, that you can press, the start, the mode when you want to program, your throttle that you can change a little bit here. So for me, it was a bit confusing at start because I thought that you have to install, you know, some kind of driver and after that the driver will look at your game, for example, Flight Simulator and will just program everything for your game but it's not like that you need first of all to calibrate your joystick it's pretty easy it's on windows and i didn't have any issue with it just to make sure that everything is moving properly and after that you will need to bind all your uh config in the game so i went to flight simulator uh, i was not used to the wording of plane and stuff like that so i need to figure out which one was which so i was comparing my game bad versus this and i was like programming some button and honestly, it's working very well. I, I'm, I have a lot of control. At the start, I feel like um, I didn't have too much resistance with the joystick. So, but after a couple of games, my muscle memory was a lot better, and I didn't like overcompensate when I was playing with my plane and the stick. So, at the end, honestly, it was really good for me. I really like uh, the, the stick for the price. It's really amazing. Uh, it's USB, so you just connect. Uh, you don't have any issue. Like you connect, the the, the computer will notice um, your stick, and after that, you just have to calibrate it to make sure that everything is working properly for this one. For the throttle, the throttle is a little bit different. Uh, just before talking about the throttle, I just want to show something here. You can also add pedals if you want, and you can add other like configuration with this sys over here. Uh, something that uh, you can do that I just want to mention. Also, the thing that I don't like is the uh, wire here. It's pretty much integrate with the product. I really like when people just like add like a USB-C or USB mini that you can just unplug and plug. If you have some issue or something happened with your cable, you can just change it. But anyway, this is pretty much it for the Raptor. For the throttle, the throttle, the build quality is not the same as this one. This one feels a lot more cheaper, like the button over here, even the roll here that you can move. It's working well, but the build quality doesn't feel the same. It's like some cheap plastic and it's empty. It's not that heavy if you compare it with the stick. So it's a little bit different. You have some kind of like resistance that you can move here to change the resistance of your throttle here so you can add it or lower it. And it's working well, but it's not like it's not like it's reading your game and you have some kind of like force speed feedback blocking you. It's something manual here that you just change uh, manually. Uh, for the rest of it, everything works perfectly for me. I really like the throttle. Uh, it's <laughs> when I was playing Flight Simulator, this one was a big step for me. Uh, the the way that you just handle your throttle with your your plane, it's really amazing to just like 
you know control you're playing like this normally i think you're supposed to have like some kind of like wheel when you play flight 73 this one is more for a fighter plane but still it's working very well when i was playing this game um so yeah the build quality for this one is not that great but it's not that expensive and i think it's a really good combo when you play um for example flight simulator again this is pretty much a very popular game right now um so you have a couple of other stuff uh, that you can use you have some kind of joystick here you have some the thing here that you can just roll up and down you have another one there that i showed you you have the b and the a button here the good the good thing about it is when you go inside of a game like Flight Simulator or even Ace Combat, you just like combine whatever whatever button that you want to use for whatever reason, uh, uh, keys and whatever. You have a lot of options that you can do like joystick ear, joystick ear, uh, button, you have 29 buttons. You have a lot of stuff that you can buy. So I don't think that you will miss some feature in your plane with if you use this combo. And uh, the, this one also is uh, USB. The cable is not braided if you compare it, so I feel like it's not the same quality when you compare this product to this one. But it's a it's a combo. There they can sell it together. So so this is pretty much it. Um, I game on my PC for the past 20 years. I never really like get into flight stick. I got like wheels for you know racing game, mouse, gamepad, whatever. I I had like a lot of hardware, but this one was a first for me. And I'm starting to get into it because it changed your experience when you play a game. Uh, for me, Flight Simulator now is a lot <laughs> better when I play with this versus my Xbox controller. So it's a good entry start, I think, for the price. You're getting a nice combo. If you want to put more money, you can do it with another product. But honestly, this product, uh, for the price, it's doing that what it needs to do. So for me, it's an 8 on 10. If you have any question about this combo or whatever configuration issue or a question about the product, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your setup and your PC. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.